This is To Hatch a Pod. Sit back and relax as Key, Corey, Greg, and Ashley talk about what's happening in and around To Hatch a Pod. It's To Hatch a Pod time. Key Budge, Claire Scotty. Claire, welcome back. Thank you. It's always good to be here. <laughs> you know, it's nice to have you in. And what we've been doing over the last year, because it was about a year ago when we kicked this show off. And the, the, every Thursday, we released this weekend update, wineries, breweries, entertainment, special food events, and... The show has been very popular. So thank you for all those that are listening, but thank you for taking the time to make this the success that it is. Oh, thank you so much. I was looking at that too, and I was like, I think we're going on a year yeah. here pretty soon. Yeah. So it's very and exciting. And we've hit it every week. I don't know if we've maybe missed one week. But I think we missed one week because of the snow. Yes. But we've been able to make it happen with, you know, our team. And if I'm away, I can call in. And so yeah. that's, that's great. We can just keep it rolling. And I think <laughs> that our wineries and breweries have gotten some feedback as well. There are people listening. There are people that are going out and say, hey, I heard about this on Tehachapod, which is cool. That's the feedback that I like to hear because then I know we're doing something that resonates with people. Yes, yes. And I'm hearing that too. I, you know, I volunteer at the visitor center and I'm always going around to the breweries and the wineries. And I always run into people that are saying, Hey, thank you so much for doing this because we always want to listen and we want to see who's open and what's going on. And we plan our weekend around that. Yeah. So it, thanks for listening. <laughs> I was at uh, Nanette uh, Keller's boutique yesterday and one of her clients, uh, Jane and her husband, Jake, listen all the time. And she was telling Nanette how she has to come on the show uh, because I was over there to talk to Nanette about talking about her business. And she goes, I listen to Detach Pod and I get those weekly updates and I hear about the wineries and breweries. And she was so excited. And it was just nice to get that feedback from someone that listens. So I thought I'd, thought I'd kick off the show with that because we do appreciate everybody that's listening right now. Yes, we do. Thank you, Jane, and all of our wonderful listeners. <laughs> all right. So where do we want to start this week? Let's start with our vineyards this week. Okay. So starting with Tehachapi Winery, they have their happy hour on Fridays from noon to six, and that's 20% off all wine purchases. On Saturday, Lauren and Silas will be back and they'll be playing from two to five and Claudia's catering will be there. And they wanted to put a, put a shout out there. They will be featured at the Bravery Brewing Wine and Beer Fest this weekend on Saturday. So if you do find yourself outside of Tehachapi near Bravery Brewing, you might want to stop in and see what kinds of uh, other local businesses will be featured. On Sunday, Tehachapi Winery will have the Soda Crackers. And they will be playing from 2 to 4. And there is a $10 cover charge for this little concert. Um, on Sunday, Yoga and Wine, uh, hosted by Space Flow Yoga, will be happening at 1 p.m. And they will have Mosner sandwiches and charcuterie all throughout the weekend. Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company has Joey Kuntz playing from 2 to 5 on Saturday and Mike Heckathorn playing from 2 to 5 on Sunday. They will be serving up smoked tri-tip sandwiches with a summer salad and tri-tip topping. And of course, they have their sangria, charcuterie, and cookies. There is another event happening that both Tatchby Winery and Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company will be at, and that is Night on Balsam at Ridgecrest. They are doing a really cool downtown open market, and a lot of our local businesses will be featured. So it's really cool. Like Tatchby's branching out a little bit, and everyone from Ridgecrest will get to taste some of our wine and, and see what it's all about over here. And I heard the, the first one they did was so popular and it featured some of our wineries that they had to shuttle more wine. It was more people than they expected. And they had to shuttle wine from Tehachapi up to Ridgecrest in order to meet the demands. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. I love that. I know a lot of people are very excited. So if you are in Ridgecrest, don't miss that event on Saturday. It's going to be amazing. Dorner Family Vineyard has their first Tuscan night happening this Friday. If you have tickets, it's going to be amazing. I'm not sure if they're open or not on Friday to the general public, so go ahead and give them a call and see if they do have some availability on Friday. But on Saturday, Steve Hill will be there from 1 to 5, and on Sunday, Dave Mordigian will be playing from 1 to 5, and Pokey Express will be there on Sunday. Over at Triassic Vineyards, they are open on Fridays from noon to 6. And on Saturday, Carrie Park will be there from 3.30 to 5.30 with Poke Express. 
And on Sunday, Siren Valley will be there at 3.30 with Cub and Gut Pizza. And our charcuterie will be available Friday through Sunday at Triassic as well. Heading over to our breweries, West Lane has their paint night with As Unique as the Art. And tonight they're doing a very beautiful honey hive with a bee buzzing around. Kiki's Tacos will be there. And then on Friday, they have a folk night with several different musicians coming to play their music. And the musicians include Stephen Woods, Sarah Seal, Parker Newman, John Solo, just a wonderful group of people. And West Lane is asking for a $5 donation. This folk night starts at 630 and Whole Shop Pizza will be there. On Saturday, West Lane is hosting a Paws and Pints with Marley's Mutts, and it's a, a doggy adoption event. So if you're looking to fill your home with a new pup, head on over, meet some of their uh, residents that they have, <laughs> <laughs> and see if it's a good match and if you can bring someone home. What a nice combo. Right? <laughs> That'll be from noon to three on Saturday, and Cub and Gut Pizza will be there. And then every Wednesday, they have their open mic night at 5 p.m. Cub and Gup is usually there to host. And I know Django Stoffer is usually there on Wednesdays, warming people up and being the MC. So we're very thankful. <laughs> and uh, Django was in here in the studio just the other day. What a great vibe he puts out. He loves his music. He's 21 years old, writes his own material. And he's just uh, that brave soul that gets out mm -hmm. there and has become a leader in our music community. I know. And that is really such a talent because even if you sing to your friends and family and, you know, you, you feel like you're ready, as soon as you get up there, you know, the, the, the nervousness sets yeah. in. <laughs> so it means so much to have someone go out and warm up the crowd and kind of get everything rolling for you. So thank you. <laughs> and this this week, West Lane had their tap takeover at TK's, and they released their Red Dawn premiere. It, it was a really cool event. So if anyone was out there at TK's, that was really special too. Over at Local Craft Beer, they have their open mic night on Thursdays with Claudia's Catering this week. On Friday, Lupita's Tacos will be there. On Saturday, Bad Cactus is coming to play at 9 p.m. And this is a fun one. I guess they've come once before and they've played and they were very popular. So I'm excited to see them back. <laughs> and on Sundays, Lupita's Tacos is also coming back to serve up some food. Very good. And we know that every Wednesday, Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night is there at 6.30 with Poke Express. Old West Brewing is back at it. They have their open mic night on Friday and karaoke with DJ Tom on Saturday. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. So it, it's, we're here summer. It's, uh, we're mid-May. I can't believe we're, you know, really kind of the third weekend yes. of May. And we're going to close <laughs> it out Memorial Day weekend right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, the summer adventures that you and your husband, Chris, offer through Discover Tehachapi. Thank you. So, yes, things are ramping up. We have been getting bookings almost every day. We get phone calls. People are very excited. So we offer these brewery tours and these winery tours that are all inclusive we go to three different venues and you, there's tastings included, there's lunch included, gratuity for the winery and beer, you know, brewery staff is included. And we also take you around to these places in our bus. So that way it's a safe adventure as well. You don't have to worry about drinking and driving and, or any of that. We'll come get you, take you on these adventures and bring you back. But we are also rolling out a new adventure, a new tour, and it is a downtown historical walking tour. And this is something that you can book relatively last minute, and we will take you all around downtown. We'll take you to our two wonderful museums, the Tatchby Historic Museum and our Train Depot Museum. And we'll stop by several of the murals, and we'll talk about Tehachapi's unique history. And by the time you're done, you'll be an expert. Love that. <laughs> well, good. Good luck with that. I know that you'll you'll get booked with those as well. Yes, yes. I'm excited. And this is a family-friendly event as well. So anyone with kids who want to learn more, you want to you know, do something for the day, this is really fun. And we're also working in different kinds of activities for kids to do, some scavenger hunts, something that's really fun for the whole family. Very cool. And then yes. uh, how can people follow along and if they want to reach out to you? Yeah, so if you're a social media person, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Discover Tatchby. 
You can find all these details on our website, discovertatchby.com, or give us a call, 661-235-5334. Perfect. Okay. Do we have anything else going on around town? We do. Okay. (laughs) I have two pages of wonderful things that are happening this weekend because, as we know, weather's getting better and everyone is getting out there and planning fun stuff. So the first thing I have is that our Tehachapi Symphony Orchestra concert that everyone has been looking forward to is happening on the 21st at 4 p.m. at Country Oaks Baptist Church. And we have a wonderful soloist who will be joining this concert. And she is really, really cool. I have to give her some props. She is 16 years old, 11th grader from Stockdale High School in Bakersfield. Her name is Ella Gov. And she's the featured young artist for this concert because she has won so many accolades and she's very, very talented. She played in all Kern County High School Honors Orchestra and she won the Cal ASTA solo competition. And then she also won TSO's Young Artist competition as well. She's a dancer. She performed as The Rose in the Nutcracker at the Civic Dance Center this last year and Odette in Swan Lake at the Bakersfield City Ballet. Quite an accomplished young lady. Right? I mean, yeah, she sounds wonderful. (laughs) Um, She's a part of the Stockdale Math Honor Society, National Honor Society, Symphony Orchestra, International Club, and French Club at her high school. She's very excited to come up and to share her music during this beautiful concert. And that's going to be this Sunday at Country Oaks. At Country Oaks at 4 p.m. Excellent. Yes. And then our Tehachapi Vineyard Church is offering a single parent fair on Sunday from 3 to 6. And this is offering a lot of resources for any single parents out there. There will be food. Um, This event is free. And then they're also offering free haircuts, (laughs) um, wonderful community services, and lots of fun stuff for kids. So if you're looking for additional resources for your family, this might be a really great event to go to. And Tatchby Vineyard Church is located at 502 Pinion Street. Our local library is going to start rolling out lunch at the library. And this will happen from you know through June and July from 1130 to 1230 each day that they're open. And this is their way of supporting our community and supporting learning, health, and wellness. And it's available for all children ages 2 to 18. So this might be another great resource, you know, during these summer months when kids are out of school and, you know, a great way to go to the library. (laughs) They also are starting their summer reading challenge in June. So get ready for that. That's 10 books or 10 hours of reading. And you can accomplish this challenge and get a little treat. But this weekend they have their family craft happening at noon on Saturday, toddler time at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, got yarn at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, and Lego Club at 2 p.m. on Thursday. Our Bright Lake Fishing Derby is taking place on Saturday from 6 p.m. to 1 p.m. You can register online ahead of time, or you can go to the lake and register on Saturday, or you can go to their main office, uh, Tatchby Valley Parks and Recreation District, and, and register there. But however, this derby lasts for a full month, so you have a whole month to catch these different tagged fish at Bright Lake, and uh, it'll end on June 20th at midnight. And these prizes range from $100 to $1,000. For the prizes for the, on the fish. Yes. That's awesome. So but, that's cool. But the one thing <laughs> is you have to be registered for the derby. Okay. So if you went fishing, you know, uh, next week and you didn't register for the derby, you catch a tag fish. Well, congratulations, but you don't win the prize. Right. You have so, to register. Yeah. So gotcha. make sure, even if you don't go on Saturday, register if you plan on going fishing in the next month, because there's a good chance that that you might catch one of those tag yeah, bad boys. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. And then we know that we have a blood drive coming up on May 24th at Tatchby Vineyard Chart Church at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Cornerstone Center for Counseling and Discipleship has their grand opening at 410 West J Street, Suite A at 4 p.m. They'll have food and Narcan training and a tour of their new facility. And then our Tehachapi Village Community Garden is doing a planting event Saturday, May 27th from 4 to 6. And this is in the backyard at 101 East 8th Street 
And if you follow them on social media, you'll see like they've been working on building this beautiful community garden and they want it to be available for everyone. And they're especially inviting children to come out and be a part of this. So they have started all their little seedlings and they're ready to plant. Perfect. Yes. And we know our farmer's market. I'm so excited. You know, farmer's market's coming up and we're learning more and more about all of our wonderful vendors. And I'm very excited to be one of them this year again. <laughs> and there's going to be entertainers each week as well. The musicians, that's something that Jessica Garner, our farmer's market manager, she's got 10 different acts that are going to perform. A couple will repeat, have uh, two different weeks they'll come out, but we've got 10 different artists that will be performing to per- just help make that summer evening a little bit more magical. Yes. So something to look forward to, but it'll be every Thursday, June 1st to August 17th, 4 to 7 p.m. on Green Street. Also, we're going to have local businesses, the brick and mortars, are going to be offering uh, farmer's market specials, and we've got it on a map. There'll be a QR code. You'll take uh, take that QR code, click on it and with your phone, and it'll take you to a map to show you what the specials are and where the stores are. The awesome. map will also show where the vendors are located. So if we're looking for Discover Tehachapi, we click on that, and we'll open it up and find, oh, this is where Claire and Chris are going to be. Yes. And if you do follow us on social media, we'll be telling you um, which winery or brewery or both (laughs) uh, will be featured at our booth each week. We're hoping to have a brewery and a winery together pouring tastings. So you can come up and you can taste what Dorner Family Vineyard or Tehachapi Winery or Triassic Vineyards or Los Viajeros all these different wineries, our breweries, you know, West Lane and local local craft beer is going to have their own booth. And uh, Old West Brewing will be with us a lot of the time as well. So you'll have a chance to try something new. Very good. All right. And how can people follow along with the Discover to Hatchby journey? Yes. So follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Discover to Hatchby. Give us a call, 661-235-5334, or head over to our website, discovertatchby.com. Great. And then also a reminder that Old Vineyard Charm uh, also offers a shuttle service for our our wine businesses that are here, and you can check them out at oldvineyardcharm.com. Well, Claire, I think we've got a lot coming up. There's a lot this weekend. So thank you again for doing all this research and putting it all together. Yes, thank you. And anyone listening out there, if you have other events coming up, yeah, share them with us. We're happy to talk about them. <laughs> yeah, I know that I'll get the the emails come in with some events. I forward them to you so that way you've got them for your notes. We want to make sure that we're talking about the community, uh, whether you're in the city limits or out, because if we are able to support the events throughout the community, it just helps everybody. Yes. So not just the city. So we want to kind of look at the greater Tehachapi area as we promote Tehachapi because it's uh, reflective to all of us. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, Claire, thank you for taking the time once again. Thank you. All right, folks, send those questions, thoughts, suggestions, events to media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We'll get them to Claire so that way we can talk about them. We appreciate the time you spend with us, and we'll catch you again real soon right here on Tehachapod. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.